What do you think has a uh, higher probability of the betterment of a country? Uh, a bunch of people that just escaped their country being, well, not their country, it was uh, the area they are in control of being turned into a slave state or a bunch of 15, 14, 10, 16, 20 year olds sexually frustrated and uh, thinking about desecrating their reproductive systems. I mean, who do you think had a higher moral standard? The forefathers, when they wrote up the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, or a bunch of teenagers on drugs, sexually frustrated because their older peers are telling them uh, they want them to change. You know, whether it be subliminally, without their knowledge, them thinking that, well, no, this is my thought. When it's, you know, people just, just say, oh, they're, that 14-year-old, yeah, they're sexually frustrated on drugs. And they want to uh, cut their reproductive systems off. I say, you know, because they're saying that, it automatically should be written into law that that should be a protected uh, you know, I mean, where where does the sense of morality even come in? I, it's not even morality. It's a, like a, not even, I mean, it's not, it shouldn't even be a thought. It doesn't better the country. It doesn't say, oh, yeah, well, my five-year-old wants to uh, switch sexes. Who's to say that maybe this five-year-old is, uh, whether it be boy or girl, is more uh, because the parent, that the mother of the family is more caring toward it because the father's always at work, say, you know, and not, of course, not this days. In this days, most of the, I've seen a sign that said six weeks to five-year-old uh, accepted in this uh, daycare, six weeks. You're giving your kid away at six weeks old to some stranger. I don't care if you interview them or not. A child molester could pass an interview. You know, if they're, if they're uh, a group of child molesters could pass an interview, get together a preschool or a, a whatever they call it, a, you know, a, where you dump your kids off because you want a job because... Uh, they're raising taxes and everything is escalating the prices so you can barely afford a loaf of bread and a car is the price of what used to be a house and the not so uh, distant pass I mean $30,000 used to buy a house in the 80s the 70s it was a pretty not pretty it would, practically buy a new I mean it would be I'd buy a new house three thousand dollars in the 80s and buy a new house you know like a, a two-bedroom house now it's two hundred thousand dollars for a two-bedroom house and that's escalating because of these elitists somewhere a bunch of people got a bunch of money and now they think well let's you know and they're and they'll uh whether they're thinking about uh, class divide and going around buying up houses where people trying to get their first house are trying to get into and they just buy it up right out from under they'll just rip it right out from under them and these people are left you know constantly searching to where they have to uh, rent possibility from the same people that are going around buying up all these houses so they raise the rent on these people. They just basically control. This is communism. All this, all this elitism is basically communism. Class divide. Class. All this stuff is communism. Controlling others. So to uh, there's no freedom. It's not. Uh, I'm in business. I have an apartment building. 
No, this is this is controlling people's lives to where they're forced, not not wanted, but forced into a different lifestyle. That's communism. That's like she was telling somebody you can't have this kind of job. Uh, because of a uh, stereotype or something like that, and I'm not talking female, male. I'm I'm tired of all these arguments of uh, we deserve the rights. A lot of this, uh, a lot of the problems with escalation of all this prices, is that the both parents are working, which has increased the household income. But you know, and every time it increases, business increases. Oh well, they can pay more now. Uh, for a house, they can pay more now for a car. They can pay more more now for food. Then the bill, the electric bills go up. The all these bills go up when they the it has nothing to do with business anymore. There is no business was thrown out 40 years ago when people uh, graduating college said, "I don't want to work the rest of my life. I want to work five years and retire on a great income." There's no more uh, 20 years or 30 years of uh, working, you know, and having a business. So everybody, there's just all me, 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 me. And it's, it is this peak of uh, here. here's the, the working class and then here's the these elitists and and all these people that's, uh, you know, when you go to buy a piece of plastic, a molded piece, well, we we made this in a mold, but it's plastic, and they want a hundred dollars for it, you know, because it's a piece. Because uh, they come up with the idea. Well, not necessarily even their idea. They the idea came across their table, and they had the ability to put it into motion. It might have been some other person that they heard talking about, it, and they said, oh, "I got the ability to do that," and then, so they go out and steal an idea. And don't say that don't happen. Then they cheapen the product and they put uh, chemicals in the plastic that are harmful and then a baby chews on it and dies, but there's only one, so they don't. it doesn't uh, raise concern until it's uh, a mass of dead babies where the government says, well, you know, there's 100 babies have died just chewing on this product and uh, you need to get rid of this chemical. Yeah, well, that'll put out our, uh, you know, we'll have to go out of business. You know, they've already made their million or whatever it is enough to retire on, but they don't want enough to retire on. They want, they, they see billionaires and they think they're going to get their name in lights to become even a richer person. They think, well, you know, they're, they're billionaires working on being trillionaires. I want to at least be a multimillionaire. You know, it's like most people, I mean, look at people that win the lottery. They win the lottery and then they keep their job while some guy out here is trying to say, well, yeah, that's great. The guy won the lottery. Now he's keeping his job. Well, that's, that helps us out. You want a million bucks. I think you could quit your job. I mean, you're, you're worried about retiring. You're sucking on, you're, you're dragging down. You know, the, the more people sucking on a retirement from a, a company uh, brings that company down and causes it you know that more than likely it causes them to go broke at an earlier age because of all the people retiring from a company i'm not saying you can't retire but there's you know nowadays they got the ira and all this stuff instead of just sucking on retirement of a, a company so you know who has with all the the things that they're doing and people saying we need that we need it's not a need it's an elitist uh it's an elitist value. It's a value to elitists that they need more money for everything. So, you know, that that makes uh, plastic surgeons doing all these sex changes, uh, you know, and enhancing and all these pill pill sellers. Well, you need these pills if you're going to change your sex. You need these pills. And how many? How many uh, snake oil salesmen are selling pills? I mean, you got drug dealers. You know, they're snake oil. Nobody needs drug the drugs that people are selling. I mean, they might in the future with the uh, the idiocracy of all the people's ideas of what what they claim is needed, and the, these idiots in government backing them, and the pop population saying, "Oh well." You know, that's what they're saying. I don't know anything about it. It's not my problem. But, you know, we have freedom and rights in this country. So if they're free to free to cut their genitalia off, you know, that's that 10-year-old should be able to tell the tell a surgeon 
and the parents should have to buy a three hundred thousand dollar operation to have that done you know and that's that's where this country's at it's just like well it's not my problem just let the government handle it. And the government is a bunch of freaking lawyers who are only trying to ensure their position and power and uh, placement in society by writing stupid laws that people just uh, sit back and say, well, that's I guess that's their government. So the complacency of freaking the population just saying, oh, this is okay. It doesn't have to be a moral, religious or uh, uh, argument. It could be common sense where... Uh, you know, we went, the human race didn't evolve, or didn't, uh, not evolve, but didn't, uh, hasn't made it to this point, didn't, well, I guess, it, uh, not a value system, but what is it where we're, uh, where we're at as far as, uh, I guess it would be value because of all the uh, things we have in society, and I'm not saying not everything's necessary. I mean, I got I got about 10 inches of asphalt going down my street that we only probably needed two inches. And but that's the government came through and said this. You know, somebody somewhere along the line, stupidity, common sense. Uh, was taken over by stupidity or just lack of attention and it caused me to have a 10 inch surface on the street out there which now cars drive off the edge and they can't used to be they drive off the edge and they they could almost get back on the the road going by going in the ditch but now it's like it's a cliff they have to jump up over, so they have to get towed out or whatever, you know, pulled out. But it's just, it's just people being complacent, you know. I sit there, came home, and I said, "Wow, they're really they're tearing up the road." And they laid a they laid a uh, foundation of asphalt one day, and the next day I come home, and it's like ten inches high, and I'm like, "Wow, this." A little bit too much asphalt but you know I didn't know you know uh, who would have thought that somebody in control allowed that much asphalt to be put into a position it's just a street but they got a bunch of we got a bunch of traffic everybody's trying to avoid traffic lights so they come flying down this street I don't know if that's you know somebody some idiot on the street said oh well we got a lot of traffic here we need 10 inches of freaking asphalt like they have on the highway because we're basically a highway system here it's not it's a two-lane road you practically have to pull to the side to let a, another person pass but i'm just saying this this is government just they're just idiots and People are saying, well, we voted them in, and that's what they're supposed to do is make good decisions. But they're, they're not decision makers. They're lawyers. Since when do lawyers make good decisions? They make decisions that will benefit them. First, first of all, they're probably thinking, how can I uh, get something out of this? Saying divorces and stuff. I mean, look at the divorce rate. Ever since they uh, divorced, uh, had a bunch of money being stripped out of one hand and given to another... It's escalated to what now? It's 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 fifty percent or possibly even more uh, nowadays because of uh, monetary status. And uh, anyway, it's it, this is ridiculous. It's all the stuff is being put into place because politicians want to write new laws, and the people voting them in are saying, you know, just sitting back thinking, well, we. You know, they was popular, they have, but they're not problem solvers. You know, where nobody's voting in a problem solver. Nobody's voting in a person that, that knows diplomacy, knows how to uh, bring the right ends to a, or the right means to an end. In other words, to help the populace and everybody instead of just a couple, lining in a couple pockets and bettering their... Uh, status in the political arena you know oh well i got this pass i got this pass i you know i i push this forward i push that forward but the you know meanwhile crime escalates 
and uh, all this other stuff escalates that that's unnecessary, like people cutting off the genitalia. I mean, this the the I don't even it's not an agenda. It's it's the turning off of a uh, common sense and allowing other people control. It's basically allowing other people to control and the government saying, oh, look at us, we can just do about anything we want. We can pass any law we want. And uh, that's the reason we're in this this communist uh, dilemma of these the government actually trying to push socialism at us, saying, we're, you know, we're gonna turn into a socialist country. And if people are like, oh, you know, they're just joking. They're just they're just funning us, and then it just slowly, you know, like the communists wrote into their uh, manifesto or whatever it is. It's it's a slow process, and the people don't even know what's happening. It's just law gets into effect, and this goes into effect, and then you know this goes in this side of the country, this goes in this side of the country, and then it just kind of comes together and meets in the middle. And then one guy will be left saying, hey, wait a minute, this ain't right. And then they haul him off to prison for life or they kill him. So anyway. Doesn't really matter what I say because people are too asleep at the wheel, and which is where they should be, is at the wheel, at the helm, guiding this country. And they're just saying, well, no, we vote other people in to guide it. That's not what the Constitution is about. That's not what we uh, uh, vote about. We're supposed to be able to stand up against this uh, this tyranny when government tries to take control and tell the people what to do instead of the people telling the government what we want and then telling them what we want and then the government turns around and they have their own agenda because people just say, well, we can't do anything about it. And the government's written that in. Basically, uh, after the Constitution was written, infringement, began and they've wrote it in to where you can't do anything as a population because you've allowed the government so much control over so many so many uh, uh, topics that they've written themselves uh, into where they can just do anything they want and that's where this country has to change we have to we have to get rid of these, these this ignorance of politicians in this country. They're see they're saying, well, that's not how it is in what you call. You know, that's where they go to other countries. They're always using this stuff, and the complacent, the people that are just con constantly compliant. Well, that's the way it is. That's the way it's always going to be. And. Uh, that that's why that's why the stuff is keeps happening, and and you know and then the people that stand up and say hey this is this is happening, they might be exaggerated in their uh, in their story to say hey this is uh, you know to catch the attention, but basically there's a premise to what they say meaning that this needs taken care of there's. This is completely out of control according to the Constitution. And that's where we should be at. This country is based on a Constitution written by people with uh, in their right minds, not uh, teenagers on drugs and sexually frustrated wanting to cut their genitalia off. Which is basically what this country's turning into is a sexually frustrated or satisfied drug-induced populace Trying to tell everybody else what needs to be.